Hi, my name is Tristy and welcome to day 25 of the 30 day Mean Stack Honolulu Challenge. Today we're going to um, work on our create customer modal window or more specifically what we're going to do is take the current view that we have for, um, for create customer and turn that into a modal. So what we want to end up with is something that looks um, a little bit closer to this. So we started to format out our create customer page um, a few days ago but now we're actually going to take that and turn that into a modal and there's there's kind of two ways you can come at this right you can either go at it from doing the view first and then work on the controller and sort of work your way up backwards um, or you can start from the back um, start with the code and then move forward into the view uh, what I'm going to do is um, is actually start working on the view first right so that means getting into the HTML first formatting up um, our modal window and then we'll um, we'll work on the on the controllers and get everything to kind of um, glue together so let's go and um, and find our our view so um, if we go to the create customer client view this is what we've um, what we've currently got um, and this worked well when we were um, creating our customers um, now if you try to navigate to the customer's um, view to, to try and create a customer, um, you wouldn't be able to access that because we pulled that out of our route. So um, that create customer view is no longer in the routes. So it's kind of just sitting there by itself. So time to turn it into a modal. Um, the best place to start, because we've gone through the process of already setting up an update customer modal, we can use that almost as a template for, for this view. So let's jump across to the edit customer client view. Um, and if you just um, have a look at the, the code kind of at the top of this um, page, you can pretty much just grab everything um, from, from the first section tag um, and just grab down a fill set. So you've got a reference point to, to refer back to. So we copy that and we'll just bring that over to our create customer client view and we'll just paste that in at the top. Okay, and we'll get rid of bits of code um, that no longer apply underneath it. All right, so let's let's just sort of work at this from the top. So we've got a data ng controller. At the moment, it's referring to the customer's update controller. Now we know that we have three controllers, and one of them we haven't used yet. So if we go to um, go to our app, we go to public modules, um, down to controllers, go to customers, client controller, and let's just have a look at the controller that we haven't used. So we've got one controller for our customers. Controller, so that's sort of our main kind of controller where we list out our customer records. Uh, we've got one controller for update, and then we've got one more here for create, and this is the one that we're going to refer to. So you can just copy that, and we're going to put that in uh, at the very top of um, of our, for our section. So our controller is going to be referred to as the, the customer's create controller. Um, and what we can also do is um, just change this one. So instead of customer up controller we can just do um, create controller or you can just do CR if that um, if that works for you um, yeah up to you what you what you want to call it if you want to be specific I, I, I'm actually um, just gonna leave it as as customer controller I think it's probably just a cleaner way to do that for here um, now here within our modal we've got update and then we've got first name and surname now that it's probably unlikely that we'll need that for our, our um, create page. So let's just have a look at our wireframe. Um, and you can see that in our wireframe, at the very top of the page, we've got new customer. So we just want to change the title and we'll just change that to, uh, to new customer, just like that. Um, so we're moving down, um, we've got a form name. So it's got update here at the moment. We can just change that to create customer form um, and then we can sort of remove uh, a few bits and pieces that are that are sitting under this so um, pretty much everything um, that's the equivalent of the field set we can just get rid of so we're just going to pull um, all of those items out and just remove some of the spacing as well so that um, that's kind of what we're looking at here okay so the the things that are in the middle of this um, middle of this code we can just leave that as it is there's no um, no need to change that. Our references should still apply when we're looking at it in a modal. Um, but we'll just go down to the bottom and then um, you know, have a look at what we need to change here. So again, we'll just use field set as a reference so we know um, what's left over. Um, 
So go back to our edit customer client view, uh, go down to the bottom and um, and just copy everything from section um, and again up to field set. And you, if you remember, we removed the buttons that were um, next to industry as well. So we'll pull that out of the create page as well. So if we go back, um, so we've got this save and close um, button here. We're going to pull that out. Um, we can just remove form and div and um, just paste in what we have here. And we've got field set twice, so we can just get rid of one. Okay, and that's that's pretty much it. So all we've really done is is moved around some of the um, some of the code at the very very top and the very bottom. Um, now, a couple of things that we do need to clean up. So we've just got references here to the customer app controller. Um, now you know that we uh, we just want to refer to customer control. So that's um, so we just copy that. Just make sure we have got the references right, um, and bring that down and paste that over that. There. Um, now the other thing also is that in this particular model, uh, we won't want to use update. We probably want to use um, create or new or something like that. So um, we will have to make sure that we set up our function using the same terminology. So we can just call that create for now. Um, we can get rid of customer. So pull that out. Um, and we go with, we'll keep OK, we'll keep cancel, um, and just uh, renaming our form. So the name that we gave our form was um, create customer form. So just grab that, plug that in over here. Um, and um, just one more thing. So the, the button, if we go and have a look at that button, is just save and close this time. So um, over here, we can just change that from update to save. So we've got save and close. Okay, now that we've done that, it's time to actually set up our controllers with this create function um, and try and get this uh, this modal to, to actually be functional. So uh, we go over to our controller and what we want to do is um, is fill out this, um, this controller here. So we want to put a function in here to allow us to create our customer record. So let's go down and find that function. Um, so you can see one of the functions that we we'd commented out previously is this scope dot um, create function, and that's the one that we're going to use. So just go all the way to the bottom, just before the comment for remove existing customer. So we want to grab all of that code there. Um, just cut that out and bring that back to our customers create controller and we'll paste that in here and just remove um, all the comments there. All right, cool. So a couple of things that we'll do to this um, that we've done previously. So we're going to change the scope, um, change that to this. So we've got our reference to our controller because we're doing the controller as um, syntax. Um, here are the details for creating our customer. They all um, can remain the same. Um, when we're saving our customer though, there's this uh, location path, so it would be moving the user to a different path. We're going to pull that out. We don't we don't want that anymore because we've um, we're, we're in context of our modal window, so we don't need to take the user anywhere else. Um, and then we've got the the error response um, down the down the bottom here. So we're going to leave um, everything else as it is, and um, and then the last thing that we need to do to get our modal to function is set up our, um, our modal functionality um, in the same way that we, um, we had our modal update. We're going to create a modal for create, if that makes sense. So uh, we can just use this as a, as a template. So we'll copy all of the code that we've used previously. Um, and I'm just going to plug it in just above update. So I prefer to go create first and then update second. So there's the code here, and we're just going to change this up a little bit. So instead of modal update, I'm just going to change that to modal create. And let's just work through the code. So we've got a function. Um, we're currently passing in size and selected customer. Now, when we're creating a new customer record, let's just change that to. Um, when we're creating a new customer record, we don't need to pass through an existing customer. So that goes. So that part um, gets a little bit limited. Um, we then have our modal open, which is fine. 
and template URL. So we now need to refer to our create customer client view, which, which has the code that we're going to use for our model. So we'll go to, um, so we'll go create customer client view HTML. So that's um, easy, not too much to do there. Um, in our controller, we're going to remove customer uh, because we don't have any context of that customer yet. And we're also going to pull out this scope. We're not going to ask this modal to do anything um, in terms of scope. Um, in terms of the form, we can change that to create, which is the name of our new um, customer form. Um, but we don't need to pass through scope customer when we close because we're not asking the modal to do that. Um, cancel is fine, size is fine, um, but we can pull out resolve. That's that's not required um, over here. Well, we can leave that in. You can see um, what that does. Um, and then lastly, we've got this uh, modal result. We don't need to pass through um, the scope of the selected item. Um, their response will be passed back, so that's okay. Uh, and then we have our modal dismissed information message. So that um, that's probably as much as we're going to do um, for this. And then, um, and then lastly, just going to save that. Um, lastly, what I'm going to do is refer to this modal from our our um, customers view. So if we go to um, our customer list template, so previously we'd um, we we'd added this ng click to the customers controller to actually update the modal update. So we can just copy that, so you can reuse that, not having to type that out again and um, bring that across to this time to list customers and what you want to do is go and find our button so on our um on our list of customers which is this oops this view back here we've got this button this big green button and in that oh yeah as part of that button when we click it we want to open um this this modal window here so and then we just want to find our button and we're just going to paste that in. So just go to the end of button. So this is the button for new customer, which is um, which is the same as whoops, uh, this button over here. So when we click on that, we want the modal to appear. Uh, and we just paste that in over there and just change this up. So customers controller um, is the reference that we've got here. So um, that's fine. And then modal update. What we want to do is change that to modal create and we just get rid of that bit on the end there. So um, then we go ahead and save that and then we can go and have a look at how we went. So just wait for the app to um, refresh. Okay, so now if we go across, click on new customer um, and it's told us we've got an issue here and this is this issue for selected customer um, being a reference error and the way to just fix that is we can just get rid of this resolve um, down the bottom here that can go so save that just let that refresh again okay so we'll try that again so click on new customer and here's our new customer modal so we've been able to take our view and turn that into a modal window that's where I'm going to leave it uh, for today. Um, what we're going to do tomorrow is continue working on this model. There's a couple of things left to really make this um, work so we can actually create our customers again. But we'll pick that up tomorrow. Um, so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out bossable.com for more details. And I'll see you tomorrow.